On behalf of the FBI personnel and our partners, I would like to extend sincere and heartfelt condolences to Gabby's family, Joe and Tara Petito and Jim and Nicole Schmidt. As every parent can imagine, this is an incredibly difficult time for the family and friends. Our thoughts and prayers are with them. We ask that you all respect the privacy as they mourn the loss of their daughter. Well, 22-year-old van life vlogger Gabby Petito was last seen on August 24th, and her body was discovered on Sunday afternoon at Bridger Teton National Forest. Now, after returning from their cross-country van trip without Gabby Petito, her fiancé and high school sweetheart, Brian Laundrie, refused to speak to both her family and the police. It does not mean he's guilty. We, we can't say that. We, we haven't talked to him. He hasn't been questioned. He hasn't been charged. Uh, so we need to say that. Why are they not watching him, and what's going on right now? Given the scope of the case, when I heard that he had absconded, I was very surprised that he wasn't being watched. He, 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 he's not a criminal, he hasn't been charged with anything. He's ex, ex, exercised his constitutional right not to speak to law enforcement. So they didn't necessarily have an obligation, but they should have had an obligation to keep an eye on him, have eyes on him, because he shouldn't have been able to leave that house. Nancy, it doesn't make sense that these parents wouldn't have enough conscience to pick up the phone and call her parents and say, we need to talk. It wouldn't make sense if Gabby had still been alive and they knew it. It would not make sense if they were not trying to cover up something. Best case scenario, Dr. Phil, in my mind, best case scenario is that Brian Laundry left her there, left her there and took off. Now, do I believe that's what happened? No, that is not what I believe happened. Uh, I think that the discovery of the body launched an entire scenario where now the home has been treated as a crime scene and they're trying to figure out where is Brian Laundry. I believe he came home and divulged to his parents what happened to Gabby. And that is why they couldn't call her family. What were they going to say? Lie? What could they say? They couldn't say anything or it would hurt their son. That's my speculation about what happened. And another thing I found out, I found out, at first we heard rumors that she had been buried, which indicates to me she was killed. Now I've gotten information that drones were flying overhead and they spotted what they thought was Gabby's remains in a grove of trees. So she wasn't buried. That's the latest we're getting. She didn't fall off a cliff by accident. She uh, didn't die of natural causes, we don't think, but she was under the cover of trees. Mm -hmm. Now, that weighs in because it helps us figure out what happened to Gabby. But that's why they didn't call the parents, because there was no good news. Well, Steve, do you think this was intentional, or do you think it was an accident? Uh, we won't know until we find out what the autopsy reveals, but I believe that this was intentional. Why? Uh, because they spent such a lengthy period of time together in very, very close and con confined quarters. Uh, people, no matter how good of a relationship they have, that doesn't work out so well, even amongst people that know themselves real good. Uh, when And, and it, it appears that she was maybe agitated him in, in the videos that I've seen. He actually kind of remained calm. I believe if, in fact, there was something that, that happened to her, that uh, it, it was a rage move. When a, a man wants to control a woman, he's going to hit her or he's going to choke her. And a rage move uh, would be uh, to choke someone. What? Yeah. Or lock her out of the car. Hello? What a power play. Everybody think back. August 12th, Moab. Remember Moonflower Co-op? Remember that? She was... Uh, manic. I looked at her. She didn't look manic to me. She was upset because she got locked out of her car with all of her stuff in there. Power play on his part. She was trying to crawl in the window. I don't know that she did anything to get him upset. If I were her, I'd be upset. Why is this her fault? Well, he was all calm and smiling and <clears throat> chatting up the cops. She's crying. Can't quit crying. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.